Hey, what's up guys? Sam from QI Studios here, and we are back in Pokemon Duel, and just like the start of every other video for Pokemon Duel, we're going to be opening some single exchange booster packs while I open a bunch of other. We open boosters at the beginning of every video, at least. I got 20, 21 of these babies stored up right now, so we probably won't open all 21 of them, but I have enough where I can slowly but surely get a couple in for each video, and I'll probably be able to keep getting them in between each video. Because, of course, I play this game a lot when I'm not recording also, but it's usually... This fucker was annoying during the grass gym. But anyway, I usually play through the gym, so whenever there's not a gym in session, I typically am not playing the game. How many of these should we open? Probably open six, right? And then I can show off my gym rewards, because I did get Kyogre from the water gym recently, and I don't know if... Oh, shit! I got this new thing. Novarian. He's like the cover of the new booster pack, because at, basically at the end of every gym, it seems like there is uh, a new booster set. That's pretty cool. What does he do? This Pokemon has evolved. All the gold attacks of battle opponents of this attack of this Pokemon become white attacks. I don't know who he evolves from, so that's kind of useless to me. But he has a hundred attack and a fifty and a two star purple Hurricane. But Lugia is a little bit better than that, I think. And unless I know, I find out. Someone in the comments, let me know what Novarin evolves from because I have no idea. So I think we said we're going with six is the magic number because that's like a, that's a one six tuple pack, right? I had that one video of course where I opened way more than that. Hey, we got this fucker again. Are you kidding me? The, I just got that, but that should mean I get the EX Pokemon next again, right? Because if I get that Pokemon once, or if I get it twice, then the EX Pokemon should be next, right? That's how this pattern works. That's not how the pattern works, it's blue, so I'm probably getting some crappy, uncommon Pokemon. I don't know why I said- it's not uncommon. Well, I guess that is technically the rarity. Uncommon, depending on how you put emphasis on it, would mean that it's, like, rare or something, right? You think about it? Don't think about it too hard. It's another uncommon- I think- I think blue means uncommon. And the gold can mean either EX, or what the hell is this? It looks like one of those bad guys from the first couple Metroid games that just kind of like scuttles around the bottom of the screen and like does nothing. But the fact that its name is Joltik also makes me think it's electric type, which is kind of weird, but sure, buddy. You get to be a Pokemon today. I don't know, maybe that's a cool Pokemon. Again, someone will have to let me know because I don't know what any of these Pokemon are that we're getting here so far, except Swallow. Swellow, it's not Swallow, Swellow. It's the big bird thing that evolves from Tallow. I know that one, but I already have it, so that kind of sucks. Okay, we'll open up one more. I think I lost track of- I think that was actually technically six, but that's okay. We'll open up one more, so maybe, just maybe, we get one more EX Pokemon here. Probably don't, but, yeah, no, we don't. I mean, one EX for a single booster pack isn't that bad, especially when it's the new- what the fuck is that thing? It looks like a totem, but at the same time, it looks like a gear? Bronzong? All right, we left off last time, finishing off the previous hotel, and we are now just starting the Volcano, which sounds super ominous, but it's also the shortest hotel. So by that logic, you'd think it is the shortest level in the game, but it's probably not. It's actually probably longer than the previous ones, and they all probably stack in length and difficulty. Anyway, Sandshrew. Ooh, an ominous background. Things are really heating up now, Master. We're at the Volcano. This is the last hotel in the first phase. It's a little deserted, though. I wonder where Luca has gotten to. Also, get it heating up. It's a volcano. Ha! He's been hard to contact. Yeah, considering he only shows up whenever the fuck he feels like it. I've sent him a bunch of messages, but he hasn't replied to any. What's he up to? Exclamation mark. Look, Master, someone's approaching. Is it Luca? No, it's this guy. You've done a real number of my subordinates. Anyone who refers to someone as, like, as a group of people as their subordinates, also evil, by the way. Who are you? Not one for names myself, but some like to call me Roger. Don Roger. Oh, get it, like, Don, like he's the Don of a mafia. I see what's happening here. This is the first time I've ever seen you up close. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Sharon. What's your agenda? What's, why is there a sp that threw me off for a second, the space? Between the S, it was like someone was typing this dialogue up, translating it from Japanese, most likely. And they just hit that extra space. Agenda? Same thing as always, baby doll. A brighter future for the Roger family. What does that mean, exactly? 
I, she do, she doesn't mean questioning the brighter future, of course. She's questioning the fact that someone just called her baby doll. But okay. Ain't something you'd understand, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's you there. Sam, isn't it? That device of yours interests me. Okay, cool. Fuck off. Don't care. Not your average device, that one. AI with an emphasis on the eye. You don't have control over the device because you don't understand it. What do you mean by that? I don't need to have control over it. We're friends, and it's the power of friendship that will let me win every duel. Or something like that, right? Look, I'll get straight to the point. Give me that device, kid. Huh? You're joking. Sam can't compete in the tournament without that device. Ergo, you can't have it. It's not a request, doll. Let's just say handing it over will be beneficial for your health. What, you think we're just gonna give in to your threats? Miss Sharon, as an AI, I do not have the right to choose my master. However, I cannot abide by such violent threats as those being made by Mr. Roger. Ha, alright. We'll do it your way. You know about this hotel, don't you? Why, yes, this is the volcano. Its fiery design is supposed to signify the burning passion of PFG players. Lame. In that case, show me some of that passion. See you up at the top, Sam. Winner keeps that device of yours. How is that fair? Ha. Ain't talking to you, doll. See you up there. I mean, I win something if I beat him, right? Other than just the emblem? Because that's standard that he has to give the emblem to whoever loses or whatever. Also, what the fuck is up with Snubble in this game? Like, seriously. If this game was came in a box, just like Pokemon games of old, it would it was, Snubble would be on the cover. Pokemon Duel, fucking Snubble edition. Anyway. I'm gonna try and cheese the AI. Oh, it's not gonna work, never mind. I always want to do that, because sometimes that works with people online, and I'm mostly used to playing with human players. The AI is much more conservative, right? The AI wants you to come at it. The human players don't give a shit. Ooh, I almost moved Zapdos here, but then he'd get surrounded. Fuck it, let's do it. I'm gonna fight this Sancher. Oh, that's right, he has to move- oh, never mind, he does actually want to fight me. Please? Mm. Zapdos is dead. May he rest in peace, and never be forgotten. Oh, just kidding. The AI is gonna try and double chance me here. What? Oh, never mind. Yeah, okay. Why would you use the plate then? You knew what was gonna happen already. Alright. So Sancho has Sandville, which is fairly annoying. And he also has Snubble, who's not really annoying, just kind of okay for a common Pokemon. So I think what we'll do here, you can see now what I'm talking about, right, is that the AI always takes this conservative pattern. Look at it. It's got this goal points, its own goal points surrounded. It's not really making moves at me, but it's surrounding its own goal points. It's like, a, hey, you're gonna have to fight every single one of us. As you can see, it is happening right now. Which is kind of annoying, in the sense that it just makes this game longer, right? It doesn't really ever mean the AI is gonna beat you. It's just gonna keep running away from you like that and just trying out the length of the duel. There you go, you back into that corner, motherfucker. You do it. And now I'm gonna fight him, he's gonna go off the goalpost, and then I'll bring out Emporion. Yeah, there we go. On a turn. Oh shit, I got bodied. Oh no. I think we're just gonna I'm just gonna try and get Lugia on the point now. Are you gonna surround me? You have to fight me. You can't surround me. And Lugia should be able to take this, right? Oh. Oh. That was close. I don't know what Defense Curl does. But maybe it, like, doubles the, the whatever? What does Defense Curl do? Lugia having to win two fights in a row unnerves me. Solid. I mean, I guess you did pick the double chance, but... Why won't you take it? You're guaranteed to lose if you don't take that. At least accept the double chance, right? Even if it's very unlikely that you win. That's what the double chance is for. Especially if I'm guaranteed to win the next turn, but that's okay. I think the color of my shirt is like throwing off the camera for <laughs> this video because it's a very bright neon green, but like anytime I move, I think because it's so bright, the camera's like, oh, the room's dark. Oh, the room's light. Oh, the room. <laughs> like it's freaking out the lighting sensor on the camera, which is funny because it's a good camera, but it's also like a cheap webcam. So it's still going to have issues like that where it's just going to go, um, I don't know. I'm gonna have it. Let's see. How does the AI respond to this by knocking me out? Why didn't I think it would do that? Why didn't I think. Let's not forfeit, but rewind that turn. 
We're gonna pretend that didn't just happen. <laughs> Such a basic move that I like totally didn't see. For whatever, I think what the AI should have actually probably done, the proper response to that would have been, of course, uh, just moving Sanshu onto the goal point rather than surrounding Mew. But the AI does what the AI does. I wish I had a second hurdle jump. Because that would be the ultimate cheese. Why are you fighting me again? Double chance. I mean, I already landed on my most powerful move, so it really doesn't matter. Or a move more powerful than any of Sandshrew's. I'm kind of not getting why Sandshrew is so common right now. But I think Sandshrew's probably just going to be the theme of this gym. We'll leave it at that. And then I'm going to try and move Zapdos up. Zapdos is going to have to fight every motherfucker in here for some reason. See, you surrounded your own goalpost, and that's interesting. Okay. What's double interesting there is that you gave me that goal point for free. Now I only have to fight these three little monkey things. And then we're gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna move Emporion out here. Okay, I mean, you're technically almost there. It is a decision that you're making. I'm gonna move Lugia up here, because I trust that Emporion can hold the line against this fucking uh, monkey dude. Trying to surround me? What's happening here? Can Lugia? Yeah, you can. This little monkey guy is not gonna. I mean, I guess he's got the three. He has his three moves, so he's technically like a good runner. Technically, not really that good of a runner. This is move set. So why would you use that one? Uh, I guess when you move it back to Lugia. I don't. Know. I don't think there is any chance that you. Uh, never mind. I was gonna say he's using double chance, but there's no chance he could beat Lugia. I didn't even get to finish that thought though, of course, before he beat Lugia. How unfortunate. I did get him down to two of the monkeys, but I'm gonna have to beat both of them before I can win this. So you're gonna move that way, uh-huh. So this is kind of the pattern for every AI battle now, is just, hey, let's fight. Let's fight for the entire time. Well, now I have to rely on Xerneas to win a duel for me. So it's gonna be the War of Attrition. Maybe we use? Or are you gonna fight Mew? No, you're not, but you are gonna be annoying. Eh, I don't need to use a plate. I was thinking about using X attack, but literally, I just have to land on an attack to win. It doesn't matter. There we go, thank you. We didn't need to do anything fancy, because X attack wouldn't help. So to just one or so to just one me to duel. Okay, now even if you beat me, I've won. Thanks. And you didn't. I couldn't be an asshole and get the weight win, but more often than not, there's actually a challenge for moving on the actual point. So we're gonna do that instead of forcing the weight win. So maybe I get that one extra gem. Didn't get the extra gem for putting on the goal point, but we did get for blocking both the entry points. Sam, about what Don Rogers said. You can't accept those conditions. You hear? You don't have to. Literally every duel or is her telling me, don't do the thing, and then I'm like, I'm gonna do the thing, and then I do the thing and I end up being victorious, or at least the plot dictates that I am victorious. I'm not going to run. What? You're not serious, are you? Sharon, please understand, that's the kind of person Master is. Can't we just call me Sam? Why do we keep going with the Master thing? Besides, according to Don Roger, I'm no ordinary device. I don't know why, but for some reason he is intent on obtaining me. I, for one, would like to know why. And the only person who can enlighten me is Don Roger himself. What is it about you, Carlo? I mean, he's fucking talking to you. He's having a conversation with you. Shouldn't that clue you in as to what's special about him? I don't know about you, but when I talk to my computer, the only thing I get is, I'm sorry, I didn't understand that. Did you mean, search Google for this? No. Ooh, it's a Caterpie to make the same first move that I always make. I actually think we've gone first every turn this or every duel in this video. I'm gonna try and do the same cheese that I do every time against the AI. That never works, but it's always really fun. Because we want to stem the bleeding, right? We want to prevent him from being able to get out from as many goalposts as possible. That's why I moved Mew onto that point. Oh shit. The AI actually challenged me on that. The thing now do we move? What do you have? You have Oh you suck. Never mind, let's put Zapdos out here. Zapdos will fight you. You're not good. Now I'll move some other Pokemon to move sets out here, yeah. 
Although I said that and Zapdos almost lost, but Zapdos typically doesn't lose fights. He's a really good fighter type Pokemon. Well, not fighter type as in he's not fighting type, but you know what I mean. He fights things and wins duels. Oh shit. Um, I have to move Zapdos here to defend because that guy's got three. He's still getting all of them out. I need to move somebody onto this uh, spawn point fast before he gets everybody out. Okay, you blocked my- oh, nope. You blocked my goalpost, but now I gotta actually guard it. Crap. I just realized Caterpie can only move one space. Caterpie confirmed as actual garbage tier, holy crap. Let's fight this thing, because it's not on a point, which means- Oh, well, I dodged him. I dodged that level tw that 20 scratch. Luckily. This is almost it for Lugia. But- I mean, there's the only move I really could do. I guess I could move Emporion out, but I'd like to try and get rid of Pokemon sooner rather than later. Ah, oh, crap. What did he get the extra 20 from? <sighs> Not that it really mattered, but that was kind of annoying. So he is going to get the other Caterpie out. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, that was weird. It, like, said it was my turn, but it, like, cut itself off. I'm going to move. Ah. Oh. Why? See what I mean? Every AI duel. Get all the pieces out onto the table as soon as possible. Oh, I dodged it. Thank thankfully. Don't know what I would have done if I didn't dodge that level 10 peck or whatever the fuck it was. Uh, you can attack something, right? Oh, I missed. Lugia is probably, I've said this before and I don't think people agree with me, but Lugia has got to be bar none the worst of the legendary birds in this game. Right? Zapdos is awesome. Articuno can freeze all the Pokemon surrounding him, so Articuno's legit. Uh, Moltres is also pretty good, because he's got the 110 move, which means he can counter Zapdos. All three of the, like, Gen 1 birds, the elemental guys, all, um, the fuck is it? All have the ability called Soar, which means they can just leap over a Pokemon, right? Ho-Ho. Ho-Oh? If you add Ho-Ho into the mix... I keep saying, like, the little Debbie dessert. Not that, but you know what I mean. The giant rainbow bird has good move set and also has serene light, which means if it goes to your bench because it lost a battle, it brings the other two Pokemon back to your active bench, which is a really cool ability. Lugia doesn't have an ability and only has a 70 move. I'm going on a huge rant about how much I don't like Lugia in this game, but no one cares other than me. And this is also not a good fight to take, but I'm doing it. I don't know, does that, does that, what does that do? Does it paralyze me or what? Became relaxed. Oh, I lose a, I lose a move point, whatever. Let's just move over here. But yeah, that's why, Lugia, I mean, he has the three star purple move. Uh, the purple moves get countered pretty hard, so. Because a lot of the meta right now is all these Pokemon that have gold moves. Also, I should not be moving Metagross up this far. I should be using almost any other Pokemon. Because <laughs> he moves one space. But Metagross is really good, so I was really glad about getting him. He's got that move, but like... Okay, well... Now, do I move Mew out, or do I just try and muscle Metagross onto the point? Yeah, we're just gonna try and do that. Metagross will fight this guy, and then I don't think anyone can actually get past him. If I actually win this fight, and I do. I, yeah, to put in that clarification that if I win the fight. Because I could have not. Okay, are you gonna fight Zapdos? It'll be real funny if Zapdos dies here. Lol. It was a hoot and a holler. Okay, now Mew has to beat him. He didn't, so... Gotta rewind that one. Ecstatic, of course, that my Zapdos could lose to this thing. I mean, hey, that just means you can't, it's not a pay to win game. Just because I have the better piece does not mean I'm guaranteed to win. I could still lose to these uh, most common of Pokemon. Okay. This thing is back to blocking my path. Not for long though. See, the advantage to it actually attacking with Metagross is if you land on Hyper Beam, which will pretty much kill any Pokemon in the game as long as they don't land on a purple. Um, it becomes your opponent's turn instantly as soon as Hyper Beam happens. But if it's already your turn, 
then that's an advantage because it'll just be their turn next. But if they attack you on your turn, just like what happened here, and you use Hyper Beam, then it's their turn again. They get two moves in a row, which is a little BM. Just so you know. Just a heads up. Just a Pokemon Go pro maneuver. I basically have one now. Well, here's hoping. Get cross those fingers. Are you with me, commenter? Well, it's his turn again, so he is, like I said, this is the advantage of actually attacking Metagross. That it means it is his turn again. So he can try one more time to upset Metagross. But if, he la if I land on Hyper Beam again... I mean, I'm gonna keep winning these fights, but I'm not gonna be able to get on the fucking goal point. Let's, let's just let the game play itself at this point, right? Let's see. You and I will watch together. Touch. Okay. Calm, deep breaths. This duel will end eventually. Whether it's by my victory or by his, someone will win. Well, it'll be me, because I'm going to keep rewinding if he somehow wins this. Okay. Alright. We're in business. I just have to win one more fight. Come on. This is what it comes down to. I think we've only won, like... A duel so far this video. Maybe two. This is a real back and forth. A real nail biter for this duel, huh? Oh man. I think we're literally back at square one. I just had my Mew in the position that I pretty much always put him in. He's gonna get all his Pokemon back out in the field. That's great. Good fun. This is the problem with RNG. Well, I can't move Zapdos into that position. Yeah, I can. I don't care. I mean, if the duel's gonna take longer, right? Alright, deep breaths. Calm. There you go, yeah, you move that guy on the on the goal post. Goal post. This might be our longest duel yet, I think? I actually don't know. I've never- someone in the comments who's been watching the whole series, if you have, bless your heart, I appreciate you a lot. But if you have been, let me know. What is our longest duel? Because we're, we're approaching 70 turns here, right? 70 whole turns. And I don't know. I also see, I can't move Lugia onto the goal point because, um, well now he also only has one MP, so I really don't care. If like I can, because I can't get him on the point. Hurricane, we did it. We did it, boys. Okay, we have a Lugia still one. Which basically means nothing. I can't move him onto the point. You see how the the AI did a clever tactic, where it just moved two spaces forward. So next turn it'll be able to just move on the goal point instead of actually. Okay, well we'll do that instead. Win this fight, Luya. Be the champion that I need you to be. Do it. Thank you. I think we can race Caterpie to the point now. Believe in the dream, unless if he hits me with String Shot and it gets rid of my other M uh, move, and then Lugia just can't move anymore. Okay, we can still move. Okay. Because also, the screen's super touchy, so the fact that it didn't at first made me panic and think that he actually couldn't move. That would be devastating. Thank you. We did it. <laughs> Only 80 turns. But we did it. We beat the Caterpie. We beat the little hand monkey guy. I forget his name. I don't care. I don't like him. This kind of- this almost looks like the bug AI that you can sometimes face while playing multiplayer online. Is that it'll just have two Beedrills, two Pincers, and two uh, Heracross. And that'll be its team. For whatever reason, the AI like panics whenever it uses Beedrill. Oh crap. The good news is I have Emporion to block that. This is fine. This is fine, I had planned for this. And now I can still move Mute. No, I'm just kidding. Well, this is Sandville, though, so I can force it to move out of the way by trying to fight me. And I think I win the race. Or did you use 
use that on. Uh, I get so focused on the gold points sometimes. I make that kind of basic mistake. I should be able to win this one. Ah, no. But your sand veil means you do have to fight me. Because I can just do this and force you to move off the points. See a nerd? Yeah, you gotta fight me. Oh, that was close. That could have been a longer duel. Can you move Beedrill back? Oh, I guess you can do him. That's an issue. I almost, I think I jinxed it because I thought, wow, this is a quick duel. Okay. GG. Because, yeah, the perp, my uh, yellow move beats any of his moves because it's over 100. So that was, that's a good reason to not use double chance because it doesn't matter. You already lost. Whew. <laughs> This entire floor is the game, like the game developers just running out of ideas. Torchic rematch, Charmander rematch, Squirtle rematch, Sviper rematch, Powerful Foes return. They're just like, use the same deck again. Fuck it, I don't know. What did, what did our boss say? Manager wants 10 more levels? All right, just put him back in the game. Still no word from Luca? I'm afraid we haven't seen him since he went looking for you at Olivia Palace. I wonder what's happened to him. There's no way he would have lost to Brenda. I know he's too good for her. Do you think he might have gotten involved in something, Master? Let's look for him. Yeah, let's do the adventure. Can we go on an adventure? All right, let's clear this floor first, then go looking for him. He can't have gotten too far. I still need to thank him. Need to thank you him. I still need to thank you him. Show up soon, would you, Luca? I still need to thank you him. What does that mean? Is that code for something? What she's trying to say is she still needs to thank me, but she didn't want to say she wanted to thank me, so she was like, I still need to thank you. I mean, I mean him. I don't care about you. Whatever. Alright, uh, let's not be super aggressive and get my Pokemon surrounded at the very beginning again, as I tend to do. Um, he's gonna go down to the goalpost, but I have Emporion again. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do this whole thing. He's gonna go up and around. I'm gonna move on the gold point. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've all been here before. You're gonna move on the gold point, and I'm gonna fight you. Because that's just how this has gotta go. Maybe? A roost. Clutch. Crap. He got another move. I forgot. I thought it was my turn, but I was the one who tried to fight him. How unfortunate. Luckily, he didn't try to surround Zapdos. We'll have Zapdos tried to win this fight one more time. Hopefully, he doesn't boost. I gotta not just- I just can't open my fucking mouth in these videos. Right? I just can't say anything. That's gotta be it. We just gotta- You know, just don't say anything. My, in fact, my, this should just be gameplay. I should turn this horizontal, and you should just watch that full screen and have to tilt your head for the video. And that would be better. If I just don't say anything. Um, let's move Lugia up, I guess, and then Zapdos can go over him. I think? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Okay. We did beat this Beedrill, though. Luckily. Beedrill would be good, but he is such a massive miss space. Even at level 5, he's just not worth. When it's speaking of miss space... Let me talk about my Pokemon that doesn't have a miss space. That has like negative miss space. All right, Lugia. Show me up. I talked earlier about you being a really bad legendary bird. Win two duels in a row for me. Do it. Just because I don't believe that you can though, I'm gonna use Focus Band. This isn't me having lack of faith in you, Lugia. It's me having lack of faith in RNG. Let's go, buddy. You can do it. You can't, but that's why we use Focus Band. <laughs> focus Band prevents your Pokemon from getting knocked out. Because Execute is actually surprisingly deadly. Because he's got all these, he's got that 90 Barrage, it's actually pretty good. Alright, and then we gotta deal with Beedrill. Then probably another Execute. And an assortment of other things, most likely. This duel is probably far from over. Okay, now you're in trouble, Lugia. Now, if you don't win, okay. I was gonna say, if you didn't win this one, you'd get surrounded. 
Hurricane on the other, uh, on your opponent's turn isn't as good because, like, I mean, they can still get right back into the same position the next turn. So we're gonna have to fight someone here. Who's it gonna be? Any one of his Pokemon can fight Lugia. And this determines the outcome of the duel. Just kidding, it doesn't really. Because I don't necessarily lose because I lost that. But we we do we do get a setback. Because now my two good fighting Pokemon are both out of the picture. Um, I don't think have I used Hurdle Jump yet? I don't think so. And because of that, I'm gonna move Mew into position. Rap. Well, get baited, because that was actually my plan all along, was to be able to get Zapdos back out. And so Zapdos can have another chance at winning the duel, right? Gotta believe in Zapdos. Um, sure. That's what we do. You're gonna fight Metagross? Well, it's gonna be your turn again, so that's a free move for you. I mean, granted, Torchic gets knocked out. It's still a free move for you, though. Hey, thanks. I'm gonna leap right over you, because I don't give a shit. Well, no, that would get me surrounded. I have to win this fight, and I did. I will move Zapdos up. I don't... I think we're just shy of being at his goal point, but that's okay. Because we can use Soar and go right over the Pokemon. Oh, you motherfucker. Let's fight this Beedrill. You know what? I don't like the look of your face. That was scary, because if it landed on Twin uh, Needle again, I would have, uh... Oh, I got poisoned. Uh, I think I do a Hurdle Jump still. I was saying that earlier, but now it's finally come to fruition. Let's move you here. You know Let's just fight him. Just do it. You can do it, Journey Ass, or however you say your name. Well, you got Fairy Mist. That's okay. You tried. You, uh... Can you do it? You can't. Just take the goal point for me. Oh, buddy. That's what I want you to do. Just take the goal point. That's what I want you to do. Just, to just take the goal point. You might get surrounded. Ah. You won't. Never mind. Clutch. Now we're just gonna knock everybody out and get the wave in. Because I have covered both of the goal points. That's all I really need to do. And then we'll take out Torchic here, hopefully. And then there will be two left. But I can move Emporion up now. And Emporion will start having to fight things. I think that will be the game plan. As long as Cernia is... Again, why do I open my mouth? Why do I say words? Because if I just don't say anything, maybe, just maybe, we win one of these duels one time. In an appropriate amount of turns. Because what's funny is, I, more often than not, if I win a duel in multiplayer, like I'm playing online, I win it faster against actual human beings than I do against the AI. Did you see that, the size of that miss space? Did you see it? Believe it to me to still hit that miss space, of course. If anyone was gonna hit that, it was gonna be me. We know it, I know it, you know it. Let's just fuck it. You have a large miss space. I'm gonna try this. It's we did it. Thankfully. I mean, we kinda we did it. I still have to fight execute. And he's getting double chance, which means if I don't hit I need to hit slide shuffle to win this fight, I think. Or I need to get super lucky. So slide shuffle it is. Mmm, hypersonic. Which means there are... Okay. I was gonna say, that means there are three spaces where I still win this duel. And it was the miss, the 10, and the 30. Thank you. We did it. Oh shit, there's dialogue at the end of a video? Or at the end of a duel? This is the end of the video, that was a Freudian slip. It's no good, he's nowhere to be seen. Have you checked over there, Sharon? I looked, but no dice. We've searched Luca's hotel and the surrounding area, but no one's seen him. Where the heck are you, Luca? Perhaps we should search in a more organized fashion. Is there any way we can guarantee running into him? Well, there's no way he dropped out of the tournament. If we keep on winning, we're bound to run into him sooner or later. Ah, oh, right you are. That does sound like a sensible assumption. 
We know for sure that he was at Ol Olivia Palace the other day. Chances are he'll show up at the next venue, too. Right. Are you happy with that plan, Master? No. We should keep on searching. Or doing something. Because he got kidnapped at the end of the last video, right? I know how you feel, Master. If we get careless and start losing, we won't be able to look Luca in the eye. Let's keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on, okay. I mean, I feel like we'd get careless because we're thinking about what the fuck happened to Luca, right? That would be the most, that would be the biggest distraction. But all right, tune in next time for the exciting Charmander rematch. <laughs> it's, you know, ecstatic, but anyway. Thanks for watching this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. You can check the links in the description below, right there where it says show me more. You can check out patreon.com slash Studios to help support the channel and all sorts of other cool stuff. Join the Discord channel, get videos sponsored by you, all that kinds of cool stuff. You can also follow me on Twitter and Twitch. All that kind of cool stuff. Share, subscribe to the channel, all that kind of good stuff. But above all else, I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Although, it's been a couple turns since he's used it, so maybe we've finally gotten rid of all the boo, uh, boo masses. Something can finally die. That's it. There we go. I jinxed it. I just had to open my fucking mouth. <laughs>